Today's message is very important. You do not want to miss it. We need to understand what it means to be born again, because if you don't and you die, you're not going to see the kingdom of heaven. You have to recognize that you are sinful and it may not be something that you've done. You may in your heart have thought, you know, I've never sinned. So why do I have to recognize my sinfulness? Well, the Bible tells us different. Not only must you recognize your sinfulness, but you must also recognize that you are in need of a savior. So as a sinner, you have to be saved. Romans chapter three, verse 23, it says this, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. This is telling us that no matter who you are, no matter what you think you've done or not done, we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Now you can go all the way back to Adam and Eve. This is the reason that we are all sinners and we need a savior. Also in Romans chapter six, verse 23, the Bible says for the wages of sin is death, the wages of sin. So if you are sinning, which we all are sinners, it's going to lead to death. But listen to what it says. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. He's simply telling us that, listen, we all have the sin problem, but there is a solution to this sin problem. And that solution to the sin problem is not how good you are or your righteousness, because our righteousness are as filthy rags, but because the gift of God, which is Jesus Christ, his son. So that is very important. It shows us the problem and it gives us the solution. So how do we do this? Well, believe in Jesus Christ as the son of God who died for your sins and rose again. John 3, 16, this verse, everybody knows for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. There's your word there. Believe you have to believe in Jesus Christ. Nobody else. Our text is telling us that it is through Jesus Christ that we have eternal life and that that sin problem will not cause us to perish. So one must connect. Confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, and then one must commit to following after him. Listen to Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 10. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, what does it mean? You shall be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. So in your heart, when you believe that Jesus is the answer to the sin problem, and you accept him in your heart, and you believe that he is the son of God, the Messiah, the only way into the kingdom of heaven, he says, then you have been justified. You have been made right. So whether you've sinned or you haven't sinned, this covers that problem. Because remember what we read earlier, we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and we need a savior. So as you believe, you become justified. And not only that, it goes further. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. So as you profess and you tell the world that Jesus Christ is your Messiah, your Lord and savior, then you're professing it. You're letting the people know because what is in your heart? You want to let them know. And that's why it says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Next, we need to experience a spiritual rebirth. Now, how do we do this? Now, as you open up your heart and you have given your life to Jesus, being born again now simply means that you are no longer who you used to be. And as you read the Bible, and as you pray, the spirit of God will begin to convict your life so that you will not look at these old ways of life 
the same again. Everything is going to be different. You're going to love the way God loves. You're going to see this world the way God sees. You're not going to hate people. You're not going to hurt people because the Holy Spirit is now inside of you and he is the one that's going to guide you through this life. And he is going to do a very good job. Listen to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. All is new. The old has gone away. The Bible simply is telling us that when we accept Jesus Christ, old things are going to pass and new things are going to come in. If you're ready for a newness of life, this is what it means to be born again. It simply means that you are no longer who you used to be because now you have Jesus Christ in your life and the spirit of the Lord is helping you, strengthening you to bring you to a place where you are are transformed. It is a beautiful thing today. And my prayer today is that you would experience this with millions of us who have been born again. It's not hard. All you have to do is open up your heart to Jesus Christ and let the Holy Spirit fill you. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to go check out this other video that I put up here. It's a very good one. It's going to bless you. God bless.